Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely host, Bokusatsu. I'm here today to review... Yeah, I'm here to review Zamasu. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm here to review review a figure that came out four years ago. I asked me four years ago, he had it came out in 2020. <laughs> I remember back in 2020, uh, he got a lot of hatred after coming out from P. Bandai. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh god. So for context, for those that don't know, Zamasu came out around around twenty twenty. I forgot I forgot what month they announced him what what month he came out for so forgive me for that. But he came out twenty twenty, right? And uh he came out around the same time as Vegeta Blue right here. Uh, yes, I will I will make a video on this guy. And uh Zamasu got a lot of full oh boy. So Masu got a lot of hate the community back in the figure community back in the day because he come with no accessories. So I wanna I wanna say this by pointing this out clearly. For those that complain saying that he didn't come with no accessory or he didn't come with a freaking sword and all that. Alright, alright, I wanna say this. Yes, he did come with no accessory, but guess what? 99% of Dragon Ball figures don't come with freaking accessories. I'm just gonna point that out. And no people are gonna get mad at me for saying that. But it's, it's true. And I just had to get that out there. So anyway, moving on from that rant. Yes, I have some Masu. I bought <laughs> I bought mine from eBay. How much, bro cube? You don't need to know. It was <laughs> free shipping. But yes, <laughs> but yeah, it was worth it. I say it was worth it because it was worth it. Okay. But uh, this guy was a holy grail that I've been trying to hunt down for a while ever since he came out four years ago. And I finally have him. Now, Zamasu doesn't come real lot because he's just a basic, simple figure. That's what I like about him. Now, excuse my lighting. Hold on. Let me go uh, fix the lighting for a second. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. So, here we have... So here we have uh, articulation. This is how far his arms go for here, for here, Ooh, upward. Huh. Oh well. Oh, hmm. that's weird. I didn't hear that before, but yeah. Something snapped. But hey, but, but, but here we have articulation for here, for here. This is how far his his uh, torso goes up. What, what I'm trying to say, and uh, be careful because it's so easy to uh, well break his arms. If anyone gonna know what anyone know what mold is he using? He's reusing the uh, the freaking uh, Mirzamasu mold slash Goku Black mold. You can kind of see well Mirzamasu mold because well it's the exact same body scope. Because because I'll show you the size comparison with Mirzamasu. But he's using the exact same mold and body scope and body as him. This is his, and this is his, well, his skirt. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got this out of the box, I had to go, I had to go clean the inside because look at that. Yeah, it's dusty. Very dusty. So I did too. I forced, I forced, I couldn't get to that part. But yeah, it's very, he's very dusty because. I bought it from eBay, and the seller had him. The seller had him in the box ever since 2020, so so it's also that too. But yeah, I cleaned the best of I cleaned the best as I could on both parts, on both sides for him for his skirt. But yeah, so how are his legs? Well, this is how, well, this is how far his legs go. He, he's actually pretty good. His legs are actually pretty good for posing. Granted, they like granted they're not like super tight as like other figure arts. <coughs> Cough, full power Super Saiyan Goku. Even though I don't have that figure anymore, unfortunately, because well, my broke on me while while trying to film him f while trying to film with that figure for Defenders. Not only Defenders, it is my stop motion series I have on YouTube. I just released episode one of season four like last week. So I recommend for you guys to go check it out. Very good. Episode two will come out next month. So yeah. But yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a monster over here. Pretty good. Good articulation, good posability. And we're gonna go to the accessory come out again. This figure doesn't come with a lot. 
yeah, sorry, sorry for that. But yeah, this figure, this figure doesn't come with come with freaking a lot, which is good, by the way, because I love, I love that thing, I love it because of that. Not gonna lie, I think this figure, I think this figure is super underrated, in my opinion. So okay, so here we have his well, his uh. Oh, sorry. Here we have his scream head, scream head, his scream head slash face. Here we have his, uh, ooh, make sure that. Here we have his grinny face. Well, his, uh, angry face. He got to say, uh, Ningens. <laughs> Relax. I say Ningens. I not say that other word. So calm down. And we have his uh, glow face right here. I love this face so much. This face right here is basically a monster just being cocky. I love it. Hold on. I don't think you can see it. Yeah. I love this face so much because it just, it just shows how cocky Zamasu is. And I, I freaking love it. And for his and for his hand, well, he come he come he come, he come with freaking two like chopping hands because well <laughs> if this if we have like Okay, I'm gonna say like this. If you have like a second original Goku Black from from that release, just paint that weapon purple and give it to Zamasu, and you can put it on here. I saw someone you, I saw someone do that with, I saw someone did that with the freaking demonical fit version of Zamasu. They put they put that effect on the SHF and it fit perfectly. So if you have that effect, you can just put it on Zamasu on. Just put it on Zamasu and work perfectly for him. But yeah. He also come. He also come with freaking uh two uh grab hands because remember that one scene when he grabbed Z uh Goku and Trunks and Black did Black did the command Maya. That's basically what those hands are for. So yeah. So anyway, speaking of Dragon Ball, let's compare him to other figures of the line. <laughs> You're gonna see a pattern with this. <laughs> okay. So just because it's obvious, here he is, here he is with the other figure that came around the exact same year as him. Oh boy, the first premium Bandai figure that came out on pre Bandai US, and they both caused massive controversies. Some love these figures, others hate these figures. I am an, I'm the opposite. I love both these figures. I I do love Vegito Blue, but I like Zamasu more. Come on. Well, I took a lot of pictures of him, but don't worry, Vegito Blue will have his turn very really soon. But yeah, I'm so happy to have both of these. I'm so happy to have this. Thank God, because that bootleg I bought, oh, the Marco Fit version of Vegito Blue, not that good. So happy that I have the freaking real deal in my collection now. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, so so here he is for freaking, uh, for freaking, uh, well, Marissa Masu. And uh, it's like what I said. If you look closely, look closely. It's the exact same body scope because well, it's the exact same mold. Zamasu just Zamasu is just reusing the whole uh, Mer Zamasu body. And that's pretty much it. Like, oh come on, guys! It's so obvious. Let's look at it. But yeah. Although Mirzamasu does have a little bit of the Goku Black mold in there, but still, I digress. Here he is with the freaking uh, current reissue of of a, of a Goku Black, the Rose one. I hate this figure so much. If anyone's selling the original Goku Black, just uh, holler at me on my Instagram. My DMs are open on there or on Twitter because let's talk. Uh, I need that Goku Black. <laughs> And here he is with uh here he is with the freaking uh trunks, raised trunks. And we ask and we ask wait a minute, where's his wait a minute, where's his uh holder for his sword? Well that broke him unfortunately, so I had to throw that in the trash. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. How dare you not take care of your toys? But anyway, yeah, he's standing pretty well with, with both of them, even though black is low. Well, Black is a little bit taller because, well, he is using Goku's body, but although, but still, I digress. Here he is with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And 
here he is with the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I want to say Goki, but no, they, but no, he ain't Gingo Blue. <laughs> he's still pretty well with both of them, and I love it. Oh, man. I cannot wait for that reissue Blue Vegeta because I'm gonna turn this Vegeta in, in, into the God, into Super Saiyan God Vegeta for my display from now on. All right, let's move, let's move him out of the way. Here we have Metal Cooler, and uh, yes, I know his Metal Cooler. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness, he's so chrome. What the heck, yo? He's so chrome in this comparison. God damn it! Oh, Cooler could be so fun taking pictures, but also he could be a pain in the butt as well. I know that the best way to take pictures of him, anyone for those that have him. For your picture, I recommend of you using LED lights because they'll work perfectly for cooler. Because I see a lot of my friends do it as well and those work perfectly. So if you have LED lights, use those on Metal Cooler. You're welcome. And here we have him. Here we have Zamasu with the uh, with superhero Broly. This guy, this guy's super tall. <laughs> I mean, literally, he is super tall. I'm so happy to have him too, but I cannot wait to review him. But yeah, so, but yeah, Zamasu look, Zamasu cool look way smaller compared to Broly. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, it's Johnny on Bosch in this as his character, but still, <laughs> I'm a frog. <laughs> anyway, and here he is with the SH figures, Comrade Gene. Uh. Comrade Gene, I'm sorry, I'm just a little tired. And here he is with the uh, with the new with, with new Goku, new Super Saiyan Goku that came out last year. And overall, yeah, what are my thoughts on Zamasu? All right, so that. Wait, should I go buy him? Should you not? <laughs> Gonna be honest for you. I know as much as I said in my previous video that I have a P Bandai figure that uh if you want to figure out him find him, play P Bandai, this guy's different. You can hear the thing about Dragon Ball figure. They're not like common writers. They here's the thing about Dragon Ball figure arts in a nutshell. They are not like Common Rider. If one figure is over preordered, and if you take forever, if you take forever for not buying him or her, or them, whatever, then it's too late. You might have had to go to the aftermarket and buy and pay the big bucks. Because, buddy, let me tell you something. I pay around one hundred nine dollars for this guy. I'm I'm, I'm Makari. No, I'm buying, but I'm Japanese. I'm buying. By using by service on Japanese Makara, I paid one hundred eight dollars for this guy because I was supposed to pre-order him last year, but my dumbass didn't because I was trying to save money and I'm still trying to save money. And in my habit, have him? Yo, yeah, totally. He's so cool, my god. Oh yeah, totally. I'm so happy to have him. But still, I digress. And he's so hard to find the aftermarket. So, buddy, you got to get super lucky to find him. To find Zamasu for a good price. Because I did not I got lucky. Somewhat. I got lucky, right? My, I didn't pay $200 for him. Thank goodness. But still. I'll just say this. If you have the Demonica Fit version, just stick with that version. Because that version is really good, too, from what I heard. And, and, and also, there's like no comparison, no difference between the both of them, except for the color, the, except for the green color. But that's it. That one comes with that one comes with the freaking Goku black head and Goku black hands, the freaking uh sword. And and he also post he also pro, he also posed pretty well, just like the figure art version. So yeah, but if you don't want to pay import prices for for the for the bootleg or this one. The Dragon Star, the Dragon Star is a good option. Yes, I had a Dragon Star version. I don't, um, I hate that version because that figure, that figure is complete dookie. But yeah, the Dragon Star version is also a good alternative if you don't have this version of Zamasu. But yeah, that's all I want to say. 
Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And uh, yeah, check out episode one of season four, Dragon Ball Defenders on my YouTube channel. I worked very hard on that. Like, took me like fucking, sorry, took me like freaking three days. And sorry for the rant in the beginning of the video. I just need to release my anger on, on people bashing this figure. Because this figure is so underrated in my opinion. He's so good too. He doesn't need effects to be a good figure. Just going to be completely honest. But yeah. He is P Bandai, but if you can find, like I said, if you can't get him, stick with the bootleg, the Demonica Fit, or to, or just go buy the freaking Dragon Star version. Those two are good. Those those two are, those two are freaking two alternatives for Zamasu. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button because well, I'm trying to reach a thousand subs this year, and with you guys' help. I know we can do it. <laughs> and yeah. So and yeah. Tune in next time. When next when next time I go review well the second figure that came out with Zamasu with Zamasu. This guy. It guy's oh boy. Oh boy, I got a lot of things to say about Vegito Blue. Some good, some bad, but uh I got I, I got a lot of things to say about this guy. But yeah. Tune in next time, guy. Tune in next week for my review on Vegito Blue. Yeah, my name is Aaron, and I'm out. Have a nice day. Enjoy the pictures, and bye.